Well, speaking of nugget, I think it's time to get soap suddy and frothy. It's bath time, you ready? Cool, let's do it. When it comes to grooming your pets, I think we fall into one of two categories. You either love it or you hate it. And it's all about the kind of products you're using as well. And I think we all know now that you need to stay away from shampoos that use things like phosphate, parabens and soaps in them. And as ironic as it may seem, you still need to make sure that your products you're using have not been tested on animals. And here to give some expert tips on exactly how to get that pro finish, is my friend Emily. How are you going? Oh, well, thank you. Good to see you. Now, you're an internationally certified master dog groomer. That's quite a title. You actually need a certificate to rub soap in dog's fur, do you? You do indeed. To do it properly and to do it well without harming the dog in any way, you definitely need to get some qualification. And your dogs look like they've been photoshopped. Shiny, glossy, perky. How do you get all that in your dog at home? Well, if you've got the right products at your fingertips and you know the right techniques, any dog can come up a million dollars. Once they're in there and the warm water's all over them, and it has to be warm water, of course, not a garden hose, um, and they generally really relax and then they'll enjoy the whole experience. That sounds amazing. Well, I've got two very naughty little dogs inside for you. I'm going to set you a bit of a challenge and it's to show me how to groom them. I want a professional finish. Now, I know we're going to get them comfortable. I know you've got some really cool tips on using the right kind of shampoos as well. So, are you re ready for a challenge? Yeah, let's go. Follow me. Now, Emily, I'd like to meet Sally. So this belongs to the house today. And Sally, I think she's a mini poodle, is that right? Toy poodle. Toy poodle. Yep. She's very nervous, but she's so cute. The thing is with Nugget, I found that he does often get flaky skin, and with him having long ears, yeast infections are a problem in his ears, so. So for the dogs that have skin problems or they're a little bit sensitive or even if you're not sure what shampoo you should be using so for the very first time of washing your dog you just want to make sure you're using something that's all natural now i've heard of this before you're using the pet way pet care range i've seen this secretly used mm -hmm. at the dog shows and things so tell me a little bit about this this is what we're using today is it any good it is honestly one of the best products on the market. I wouldn't use anything else. In all of my salons, we use this product. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to properly wash a dog so that when you're doing Nugget at home, you're gonna be making sure that he comes out a million bucks. Because most of us just do it in the bath or the shower, don't they? So you can actually yeah. apply this at home. So That's correct. And usually we're starting at the back of the dog, just so that the dog's getting comfortable with the water first. Yep. And then we're going to go slowly moving forwards up the body. So it's really important that when you wet the dog's face, you keep their nose and their eyes covered as well as you can because you don't want any water getting up their nose. And make sure then that you wipe all the excess water away from their face. That's a gentle protein yes. shampoo. What's that one then? This is the one for sensitive skin dogs. Okay. So it's the one with a low fragrance. Look how thick it's going. You actually did not use a lot there at no, all. No, I've only used about a tablespoonful in the palm of my hand, and Perfect. that should be enough to do this whole dog. So here's a little trick that I have for getting the shampoo up onto the dog's face. I actually get all of these soap bubbles and push them all forward. Get a big handful like that yep. of the soap onto my hands, and then I use these soap bubbles to gently massage around the face. It's important that we start the rinsing process at the face because that way any little bubbles that were up around the eyes are the first to go. And then she will get washed a second time. A second time? So you wash yes. them twice? We always wash every dog twice. So what's next then? I know you were telling me that there's a couple of things you can use to really make their coat glossy and shiny and use it as part of the drying process. Yeah, that's right. Um, this is another product that Petway make that we love. So now this is the anti-static detangler. Oh. So this is a slightly different product than just the cologne. Yep. This one actually doesn't contain any fragrance. What it does is it adds some moisture to the fur and it makes it so much easier to brush. A little bit of a fragrance on there. I think yeah. you need some as well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's a brilliant range. The Petway Pet Care range is fantastic. We love it on this show. We've had it on before, and it really does give them a really good designer finish. It's almost like the salon finish, isn't it? 
Definitely. Um, if you want to find out where they stock all of this stuff, just head over to their website. It's petwaypetcare.com.au. You'll love it. It really works. Now, you and Sally, I think, need drying off. <laughs> <laughs> There's more to come of Animal Extra after this break. All right, here we go. Thank <laughs> you.